Find out how a phone call changed a man's perception of dog's love. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to MNR TV and hit the bell so you never miss any upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Dennis had never been so surprised in his entire life. Being an animal lover, he had seen many helpless animals begging for help, but the behavior of this dog was completely different. What was more astounding was the reason behind his behavior. He has been on several rescue missions, but this incident is something he would never forget. After witnessing this incident, his thoughts about the animal have changed completely. I can bet you too would begin to eye the animals, especially dogs, with a sense of respect after going through the article. Read the slides and see your thoughts transforming completely. Don't forget to check out the 55 second long video that will surely melt your heart away. It was a cold month of December in 2016. The whole of Ukraine was covered with snow. Due to the excessive snowfall, the cars found it difficult to skew on the road. And it was then that Dennis got a phone call that made his heart shudder. It was his friend on the other end of the phone. No doubt the phone call was going to add an unbelievable experience in his life. After hanging up the call, Dennis rushed to the site without wasting a second. His friend, who happens to be a conductor by profession, told him about two dogs who were stranded on a railway track for about two days. December is the coldest month of Ukraine in which temperatures go down to freezing. While on the way to the railway track, a lot of questions arose in his mind about those dogs, like how did they reach there? What were they doing on a railway track for two days? Would they be fine or the inclement weather took over them. He had all the assumption drawn in his mind except the one, the one he was going to witness today and was beyond his imagination. That completely changed his perception of the dogs forever. He reached the railway track as soon as he could, and it took him no time to figure out the dogs on the track. Clearly, there were two Siberian Huskies lingering on the track, with one standing and the other sitting on the track. It looked weird. The things were not clear at all. Perhaps the dogs did not know the harmful effects of their procrastinating nature. Or maybe the reason was something else that could be horrible. Whatever the reasons were, but their behavior was indeed strange. Only a furtive glance on them was enough to reveal their miserable condition. In order to help those animals, Dennis needed to get nearer to them. But that was not an easy feat. In order to find out the reason behind their intriguing behavior, Dennis needed to get nearer to them, so he tried to inch closer, but was stopped by the standing dog. The dog had assumed him as a threat and began to growl at him. He lowered his neck and bared all his teeth in the cold daylight to scare Dennis out. It was evident by his behavior that the dog did not want Dennis to come closer to him or the sitting dog. Surprisingly, whereas the standing dog was trying his best to keep Dennis away, the sitting one did not growl even once. It intrigued Dennis further. He wanted to know why the dog was so protective of the other one. Both the dogs looked similar. What were they, litter mates or something? Dennis explained in his Facebook post, several attempts to remove the animal from the rail were in vain because the dog strongly defended her from us. His statement clearly alludes to the protective nature of the dog. The dog did not want Dennis to come closer to the sitting dog. It seemed the two were sharing some really close relationship, but the question was where had they come from and how did they reach the railway track? And what exactly happened that they could not move? The answer to all these questions is very astonishing. You might never guess how did they survive a couple of days on the tracks. Being an animal lover, Dennis knew that the dog should not be approached in the open, especially if the dog is frightened. He had to handle the matter very carefully. It seemed the dog was trying to protect the female dog who was sitting beside him. Dennis assumed that she must be his sister. The male dog was trying his best to keep Dennis away from her. It was a very confusing situation for Dennis. He wanted to help them, but was unable to figure out how to approach them. The clock was ticking. He really needed to do something quickly. Otherwise, the dogs might lose their life. But the question was how was he going to do that? 
He wanted them to know that he is there to help them out, but was not getting a proper solution for that, so he stepped back and plonked himself on a nearby rock. He sat there for a few moments pondering what to do. He looked at them and the dogs gazed back at him. The dogs were literally rooted to the spot. Dennis was drawing all the possible solutions in his mind, and it was then when he was jolted out of his reverie by a thundering sound approaching his side. That was a do-or-die situation for Dennis, as if he does not do something at the time, the dogs were going to die. But first of all, where was the heart-shuddering sound coming from? It was the sound of a speeding train. That was the last thing Dennis was expecting. The train was moving fast towards the dogs. He looked first at the direction of the approaching train and then towards the dogs. The sound of the train's whistle was getting clearer second by second. Dennis felt a drop of a tear trickle down his cheek. He had never felt so helpless in his entire life. He really had to do something to save those innocent lives. But what is it that he could do? And those dogs were not going to do anything for them, especially the one who was protecting his sister from Dennis. Was he not going to do something to protect his sister from imminent death? Well, he did something very unbelievable. Instead of running away for his life, the brothers stayed put on the track. Dennis had never expected that he would see something so unbelievable. The dog paced toward his injured sister after hearing the bustling of the train. He and his sister both put their heads to the ground. He was ready to be mauled down by a train with his sister. It is amazing, as just because his sister could not move, he also got ready to give up his life. Dennis had never seen anything like this in his entire life. He got enchanted with the affection of the brother and his sister. The dogs were ready to die beneath the train with their heads down to the ground. Perhaps Dennis was going to witness a horrible moment of his life. It was astounding to him, as he had never seen an animal sacrificing its life for another animal. Humans never do so, expecting it from animals is a far off thing. The brother did not budge and continued to lay on the track. Dennis could not do anything but see that train approaching them. Finally, the train and the dogs had no distance between them at all. It is to see what was going to happen with them. The train passed over them. Dennis did not want to look towards the track again, but when he looked, he got immensely amazed. Both the dogs were sitting unscathed on the track. For Dennis, it was a beautiful surprise. The penny dropped and he realized that this is how the brother was protecting his sister from trains. Every time a train came towards them, he used to run towards her and comfort her. That is how it was going on for the last two days. It was all because of the protective dog, only that the injured dog was alive. The protective dog was taking care of the injured dog in every way possible. He used to find and bring food for her when she got hungry. He was making sure his sister remained secure and safe. Dennis got deeply moved by his action. Dennis wrote, I don't know what to call it. Instinct, love, friendship, attachment, he added. I only know this. Not every human is capable of this. We should all learn from it. Dennis felt the urge to help these beautiful dogs. But for that, he had to make a strategy to win the trust of the protective dog. Dennis began to lure the brother with treats. He provided him with the morsels of food. Initially, the strategy seemed to be a big failure as the brother refused to exude. But gradually, his constant efforts bore fruit, and the dog began responding to his actions. Apparently, both the dogs were hungry, and after little hesitance, the protective dog gorged upon the food. Soon, the dog developed a feeling of trust for Dennis. After getting warmed up with Dennis, he eventually let him touch his injured sister. It took him so many hours to win his trust. He did not growl or bare his teeth at him. Dennis fed the male dog patiently, and after feeding him, he went to his injured sister. He caressed her and tried to figure out where she was injured. The sister was too tired to move and oppose. Whereas Dennis was trying to find out her injury, she lay down calmly. Dennis, too, did not try to move the dog as it could have been imperiling for her the chances were high that she might have gotten any of her bones broken. In that case, moving her would have exacerbated her condition. Dennis, while running his finger into the fur of the injured dog, kept on wondering about his next step. Dennis had no clue about his next step. 
he was not sure as to how he was going to help these siblings. He really had to put them off the track and bring them towards safety. Eventually, an idea clicked him. He remembered that his car had some blankets in it. He put the dog down with extra care and rushed to his car to get the blankets. He came back to the track with a warm blanket. Without delaying, he wrapped the injured dog in the blanket very tightly. After that, he carried her in his arms and took her to his car. It had to be done gently, as any unintentional treatment meted out to her was enough to get her protective brother angry. Dennis placed her in his car's trunk, but that was not all. Dennis brought the injured dog in the trunk of his car and snuggled her up, whereas her brother was watching all this from a distance. He knew, although he looked good, he must have strained health too. Dennis tried to bring the male dog inside the car again by using the food as the bait. That worked again. The dog jumped into the car and sat next to his sister. He sat close to her. There also, he was making sure that his sister was perfectly fine. They did not know where they were going, but perhaps knew whichever the place they were going to would be better than that hellish and cold railway track. Dennis drove away from the railway track. After having both the dogs in his car, he took them to a local shelter, though he did not know how severe the injury of the dogs was. He really hoped that it was not much. The male dog was looking absolutely fine, but the female dog's health seemed very weak. He already had suspected that the female dog might have some of her bones broken. The female dog seemed very pathetic. The injured dog visibly had swelling and concussions, but what Dennis feared the most was the thought if she had any internal wounds. So without delay, he took them to the vet. He reached the animal shelter shortly. The dogs underwent a full medical checkup. Fortunately, none of them had undergone any severe injury or broken bone. However, the female apparently was in bad shape. Though she had bruises all over her face, she also had struck with a shock because of getting stranded on the railway track for days, whereas the protective dog was healthy and had no serious injuries. The shelter took care of them and redressed their injuries, and in a few days they became fit and fine. They stayed in the shelter for four days till someone came to adopt them. Though the dogs were perfectly fine, their problems were not over. Dennis had to search for a home for them, as he was not able to keep the dogs himself. Along with looking for a house for them, he also had to make sure that the two do not get separated. He was searching for a house that would keep them together. In order to get his voice and concern reach every dog lover, he took to the help of Facebook. He shared their story on Facebook. He narrated the entire story and the dog's affection for each other in his post. Thereafter, he waited for the response, while posting the story might have no inkling about the ripple his story was going to make. The response was huge. He got his story shared 71,000 times. People from all over the world commented on his story that went over 7,000. The compassionate nature of Dennis and the heart-melting story of the siblings won everyone's heart. Every reader was amazed at the seamless affection of the brother for his sister. Indeed, the story of both the dogs emerged as a big lesson for all the people. Their selfless love for each other put a question mark over the selfish nature of people. Animals are usually considered emotionless, but this story proves all those perceptions wrong. And it was because of this post that the dogs got their home back. The animal shelter found their family just after four days of their rescue. Their family also had been searching for them desperately all over the place. It was because of the post that the family came to know about their lost dog's location. The dogs were named Panda and Lucy. Panda became a hero in the true sense as he perseveringly stood side by side to his sister. Dennis wanted the entire world to know about Panda's heroic deed. The dogs had wandered away from their home and during that time only, the female dog Lucy got hit by a running train. Because of the injuries, she could not move. Finally, the two were getting the happiness back. The story soon went viral and started making headlines. Though Dennis never believed so, he had become the new hero to look up to. Dennis, in an interview with Dodo, said, This is not my heroism, it is Panda's. No doubt Dennis is absolutely right about Panda, but this is also true. Had it not been for Dennis, 
this heartfelt story would have never had a blissful ending. Check out the eye-widening video of Panda lying down with Lucy on the railway track with the train running over them. Dennis also shared a video of Panda and Lucy. In the video, they are leaving the shelter with their health and happiness. They are going back to their home sweet home with their family. It was a very pleasant moment for Dennis. He had seen them reeling under the trauma. People call Dennis a hero, but according to him, it is Panda who deserves the title. Dog's loyalty is world known. In this article, also, we came to know about the phenomenal loyalty of a dog. Here is another. In September 2013, Dave Furukawa, who was visually impaired, and his four-year son, Will, were going to school when suddenly a Chrysler got out of control and ran over both of them. Simon, their pet dog, quickly jumped into action and pushed little Will to the safer side and got himself mowed under the vehicle. Unfortunately, he died, saving his owner's son. It's about November 2005 when Doherty family was walking on the street with their four Labrador Retrievers in Randleston Forest Park in Northern Ireland when a pit bull attacked one of their labs called Cole and bit him on the leg. After injuring the lab, he turned towards the 10-year-old Ben, the youngest child of the family, but the pit bull was stopped by Troy, another Labrador, who fought with him till the arrival of police. The police shot the pit bull dead. Troy, on the other hand, succumbed to his injuries and died shortly after. Chris, a native of northern Minnesota, took his father's dog out for gathering mushrooms. It was then when they confronted two giant bears. Chris went all blank as he could not understand what to do, whereas the black lab quickly took on the about 135 kilogram bear. Chris rushed back to his home. Neither he nor his father was expecting the dog to be back. Surprisingly, after just after a few minutes, they saw the dog making its way towards the house. He was limping though. Dasher, a German shepherd, showed his loyalty in a unique way. It is a native of Mildura, Australia. The incident took place when the two-year-old son of its owner wandered out in the forest without anyone's knowledge. The seven-month-old puppy followed him. It was much later that the family came to know that their son was missing. It took them 14 hours to find their son. Along with their son, they also found Dasher, who stayed with the child throughout his journey and saved him from any kind of predators. This incident occurred in 1928 when the owner of Max, a Manhattan police dog, slept with a cigarette in his mouth. He was too asleep to realize that the burning cigarette had turned into flame. The clothes surrounding the owner caught fire and surprisingly he did not wake up. He would have died if not for his loyal dog. Max first dragged those burning dresses aside and kept on barking until it caught someone's attention. Andre Pavlov, a four-year-old child, confronted the worst moment of his life when he fell into the freezing water of a pond. It happened in a small town in Russia called Krasnoyarsk. When the child fell, there was no one around except a stray dog called Nadia. Prior to the incident, Nadia had been following Andre constantly. Perhaps he already had the premonitions. Nadia began barking to grab the attention of people around. Eventually, it managed to attract people to the spot, and little Andre got rescued. All thanks to Nadia. The Austin's native Paul Horton met a tragic accident when he got hit right on the head while going over the handlebars of his mountain bike. He fell unconscious and came back to his sense, only to find his dog sitting by his side. He asked his pet to help get him up. Though the dog did not want to leave his injured owner, he asked his pet to get him help. Though the dog did not want to leave his injured owner alone, he had to obey his master. So he went out and barked for help. The neighbors suspecting something wrong as they had never seen Yogi behave so differently. They followed him and found out that Horton was lying on the floor immobile. 